welcome back. This is Boscopo with more Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I'm joined, as always, by Charles of Wishes He Was Evil Mahariel. We have Alistair, Sten, and Morgan with us yet again. When we last left off, I was trying to be evil to all these people here in town, in this little village, and it all backfired on me. I'm like, I'm going to side with the werewolves. And they said, by siding with the werewolves, you've made everybody happy. That was not my intention. Let's grab a psalm book out of here. I really am trying to be evil, but the game, she won't let me. Let's try to turn in some of the quests that I might have around here. So the hunters were cured, but not in time for my denial. It's because you suck. You're still whining, I see. I, I see. That is the kind of treatment our people usually expect from yours. You can't play the race card on me. No wonder there is little love between us. So we're both Dalish elves. How can you play the race card on me? And my codex has been updated. Hey, you! I found Iron Bark! We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Could have had werewolves. Found some Iron Bark for you. Truly? Let me see. Yes, that is indeed Iron Bark, and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. An agreement is an agreement. And I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow? Or perhaps a breastplate? A uh, longbow, breastplate. Yeah. Both would be more appropriate. Both? But that is an unreasonable amount of crafting to expect just for finding the wood. I will do no such thing. Oh, you're a dick. You wouldn't have any wood at all if not for me, remember? I'd resign myself to having none at all. And what good does it do in your hands? I am disappointed to see such greed. I don't believe you. You want this wood badly. Can I wave my Jedi hand? Will that help? I'd already resigned myself to a few years without. There are other things I can craft for the clan. Keep your wood and be gone. Well, fuck. So much for that. This is not working out well for Charles in the slightest. And by Charles, I mean me. Can I turn yours in? Please, leave me be. I shall hunt my own wolf now that these monsters are gone. Well most of them anyhow he can't turn I can't turn in his quest I can't get anything done here so I guess I will yeah that's it wow I have screwed up this location probably more than anything else that I've done in a long time so let me uh, purchase some stuff sell some stuff and hopefully I can clear up some inventory space with this guy even though he's mad at me now that that's done let's leave this place never to return I probably wanna go west this place never happened. Oh, more Alfred. I would like to leave. Never, like I said, never to return. This, this all never happened. I was evil I the whole to time. I understand that the Canari have their own mages as well. Is there this so? There are mages. You would not understand. Not to understand? Is it mental capacity that you believe I lack? Or are you worried I will sympathize with my so-called brethren? Take your pick. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me angry? It means I find myself wishing that your people held proper, civilized attitudes towards magic. Hmm. That is a rather hostile thing to say. And yet you continue speaking. Astonishing. <laughs> well, okay. Apparently, Morgan doesn't like anybody in the party. Just me. Which is f fine, I guess. Uh, we should probably head to camp. Yes, camp sounds good. Where is the circle of mages? Shouldn't they be somewhere around here? Brazilian ruins, Brazilian forest, Curry Wilds, Red Cliff, Red Cliff. Yeah, uh, whatever. We're going to party camp because we can do. Uh, wait, really? I can press those buttons? Uh, I didn't know that. That is good information right. to have. How will you end it? Uh oh. Why do you ask? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Is he thinking about leaving? You doubt I'm really a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Well, I was a lot nicer than I meant to be. You think you could do better? Yes. Is that it? Really? Damn. What the hell? Isn't he like 
Just need... Yeah, he loves me. What the hell are you on about? Well, okay, he's still neutral, but he's plus 68, damn it. What the hell? What the hell indeed? Is that a big wheel of cheese? Holy crap. All right, let's talk to everybody here. Uh, we still have Bowden Fedek hanging out there. Let's talk to Alistair, see if I can get him to like me a little what bit more. What do you need? Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Good, I don't want you falling apart again. Don't worry. So long as we're looking at taking down that bastard Loghain, I won't be losing any sleep at night. And thanks for the warm concern. For a moment there, I thought you might actually have cared. And he disapproves. <laughs> I'm not doing so well. Liliana. I must say that traveling with you has opened my eyes to how wrong some are about the Dalish. Uh, you are not at all savage. And I've not seen you snatch away women and children without provocation. Damn it, I knew I should have been more evil. What the hell? That That is a rumor that I would like to keep up. Are you trying to be funny? No, disappointed, are you? No, of course not. I am just saying that many believe such awful things about the Dalish. If my people were more open to interacting with yours, we could do away with such misperceptions. You assume we want to interact with you? I know humans and elves do not share a happy history, but peace must be possible. I hear many city folk talk about how wonderful it must be to live simpler lives, close to the earth. They could learn from the Dalish. You, do you think it's a quaint curiosity meant for a study? Racist. I, I'm sorry. I did not mean it like that. I wasn't trying to belittle your culture. I have met very few elves, and those that I have met were pledged to the service of Orlesian nobles. Slaves. They are serfs. There is no slavery in Norway. Still a life I would never choose. Elven servants are well compensated for their services. Some of them live richer lives than humans. A well-trained elven servant is highly valued in Orle. They are nimble and dexterous, and many people find them pleasing to look at. Like a prize-winning animal. Should I offer myself to some Orlesian noble? No, I did not mean it that way. Oh, my words were clumsily chosen. I did not mean to offend. I... Ugh, I am sorry. You may not be cruel, but you still see us differently. I... I did not realize that. It is so strange how long-held beliefs just seem natural and... right. Like there is no other way to feel. Thank you. You have given me a lot to think about. Uh, she approves after all that. How the hell did that work out? I have something for you, don't I? I have, uh... Andraste's Grace again. Have it. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Hooray, she likes me a little bit more. Emissary Karen. What? Allied supply crates. Communal box for the s resources you have collected for your troops. Crafting materials for the Dalish? Hey! Yeah, let's give them all my deep mushrooms. I'm not, I'm not using them for anything. Um, and then I could probably give them the death roots. The elf roots I need. The elf roots I definitely need right now. And then uh, that's it. You will have the best equipped army Ferelden has ever seen. Sure. Sure. Is there, is there one for the humans? Or no, I still need to do stuff for them. I probably still need to do stuff for them. Still haven't talked to Sten. Sten. You called. You're a dick sometimes. I want to discuss something you mentioned. Speak then. Uh, okay, that's not what I wanted to talk about, but sure. What did you mean about fiends and Saharan? Ours wear the faces of men. That's cryptic. Darkspawn, abominations, plagues, and storms. Men are far more dangerous than these. One moment of betrayal can bring more ruin than an earthquake. You know this. So they're traitors. They are Talvashoth. They say they are grey ones. True in the knowledge of themselves. They are gaping holes where men used to be. Nothing can fill them. Sounds sexual. 
What's so bad about them? There was a village in the mountains of Seheron. Farmers. They grew cinnamon and nutmeg trees in perfectly ordered rows. There would bad. always be one person waiting. A foreman, a harvester, rank didn't matter. Often they would say nothing. Simply watch as we worked to examine the empty house. A new one each time. That had once been the home of a colleague, a friend. We always made a point of searching. Now and then a body would turn up in a river eaten by rain and crows. More often we found nothing. Even in the worst parts of the jungle the villagers would send someone with us. To see the tiniest piece of bone or cloth. Anything contained the possibility of their lost friend. Must we speak of this? We could be fighting something. Fine. As you wish. We're done. But holy crap, he... Wow, he likes me even more now? How... Oh, hey, he moved up to warm. Plus 76 is still warm for him. He is Kunari. But he has uh, definitely gotten a new skill, which is more... More strength. Holy crap. You would think that with all that, he could do more damage and live longer. But no, that's that's something completely different. Morgan, I think it is time. Have have we gotten to the point yet? Morgan. I await your command. Sleep with me. I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Uh, is Flemeth really what she seems to be? <laughs> well, that depends, does it not? What does she seem to be? A powerful Maleficar. You mean, is she truly the Flemeth of legend and story? Tell me, how much do you know of the tale? The one that the Chastens still tell of my mother, to frighten them into obedience? I didn't even know there was such a thing. Ah, I see. That does explain much. I can relay what Flemeth once told me herself, and you can decide whether or not tis the truth, if you desire. It, that sounds interesting. I'm trying to be nice. As the tale is sung by the bards, there was a time when Flemeth was young and beautiful. A fair lass in a land of barbarian men. The desire of any who saw her. Yes, I've heard this part. The tales say that Flemeth fell in love with Osin the Bard, and fled the castle of her husband, the dread Lord Conobar, and that he swore vengeance for her infidelity. In truth, my mother claims that twas Osin who was her husband, and Conobar the jealous Lord who looked on from afar. Lord Conobar approached young Osin and offered him wealth and power in exchange for his lovely wife. And Osin agreed. Sold off! Seems like a fair deal. Thomas must have been angry. The life of a bard is a poor one, and love fades in the wake of hunger. It was Flemeth who suggested the arrangement. All would have been well had Lord Conobar kept his end of the bargain. But he was a foul man who bargained with coin he did not possess. Osen was led off to a field and slain, left for dead. Flemeth spoke to the spirits and learned of the deed, and swore revenge. She spoke to spirits or demon then? She truly loved Osen then? That was not the point. Conobar had no honor, so she would not have him. Flemeth begged the spirits to aid her. And twas they who slew Conobar. The demon the legend tells of came later. Lord Conobar's allies chased Flemeth, you see. Chased her to the wilds, and there she hid. There she found the demon, and he made her strong. The legends all speak of the great hero Cormac, he who defeated Flemeth and her great army when she invaded the lowlands centuries later. All lies. Which she never invaded, or he never defeated her? The truth of the matter is that there was never an invasion. As Flemeth tells it, the Chastened never raised an army under her banner, and she never fought with any warrior named Cormac. Cormac led a brutal civil war against his own people, and later claimed it was to vanquish evil that had taken root amongst the lords. Thus, 
he was hailed a hero. Plymouth was only attached to the legend much later. Perhaps it was due to the great war with the Chastened that eventually came, but Mother claims not to know how it began. The legend tells of Flemeth having many daughters. You ask if I have sisters. I have asked of this myself. The stories tell of many witches of the wilds after all, not just the one. And these tales existed long before I did. Flemeth refuses to speak of other daughters, if they existed. So, should I believe I am her first? I doubt that too. Oh, wow. An interesting story, thank you. Yeah, I think we're Flemeth done. Flemeth tells it with far more embellishment than I, but you are welcome. Dare I ask of your own mother? Few are abominations of legend, tis true, but I find myself curious nevertheless. My mother died a long time ago. Ah, then you have my sympathies for what it is worth. Which is very little, I am certain. It matters not. Let us move on. Hey, she approves, and she has gotten. Where is she now? Plus fifty-two, which is still just warm, and she has gotten a new skill, which will up her magic. It, it doesn't say. It doesn't say how much it it it's up by. I believe I have stuff to give her though. Um, something. For some reason, she doesn't want the shinies. You would assume that they would want the shinies. Let's see if I have anything. I think she wants that. Fine gift. Yes. You have my thanks. Yes, yeah, she does. Uh, I don't think she wants the demon statuette. Uh, no, no. This looks like something that she would want. Unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like that was pretty much it. Unless she wants the... Uh, No, she's not into booze, I don't think. I think that is somebody else. So, that is pretty much it. I mean, we're getting closer, we're getting closer, but not quite there yet. Uh, can I enchant anything? Enchantment? Enchantment! Who wants some enchantment? Enchantment! Enchantment! Uh, I only have the Oath Keeper. But I can't take that off? I didn't know I could. Uh, journeyman slow, movement speed... Spell resistance, cold damage, chance of paralysis. Hmm. Let's go with paralysis. I didn't realize I could take that off. Paralysis sounds good. That sounds good indeed. So now it's time for me to buy more stuff and hopefully, uh, well, find new stuff to equip. And I'll let you know if I find anything important. Nothing all that great. Uh, just a small... Small amount of incremental upgrades, so we are ready to move on. And we can go to our next destination, yes, yes. as if I'm going to be picking you. That's not going to happen. Uh, let's see, where can we go here? Uh, we can go back to Redcliffe. Soldier's Path. Like Helen had. There's the Circle Tower. I believe that is where I wanted to go. Yeah, the Circle of Magi. I thought this was the Circle before, but that's the party camp. How, who knows where that is? Apparently, it's wherever I want it to be, because that is where we were when we left. We will probably, yeah, get into a fight along the way. Hopefully, it is not too tough. Uh-oh. Cutscene time. Back in Denerum. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sire. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never. not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? 
Kalen's death was his own doing. Well, things aren't going so great in Denerim.